far as uh, you know, creating these wonderful memorials for people is uh, Cemetery Tim. I'm going to bring him on the line right now. I want to talk to him as well. Uh, we'll bring back Erica. Uh, Tim, how you doing, Tim? Hey, I'm good, Scott. Thanks for having me on. <laughs> it's an honor, man. What's up, it's Erica? Honor. Hey, Tim. Look, I laugh with you. Hey, yeah, hey, I know that laugh. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys, uh, you guys, uh, you know, got this uh, unveiling coming up September 7th. How do you uh, go about, you know what I'm saying, doing uh, uh, you know, memorials like this, Tim? Like, uh, do the families usually reach out to you or do you reach out to your family? It's you know? funny that you say that. Uh, it's a little bit of both, really. And, and since we started this, uh, you know, starting to work with celebrity families, it, it's been a mixture. But um, it's really a truly honor, man. Seriously, like, working with the right family and, and for to create this uh, this tribute for Easy E. Um, it's a I know it's a long time coming, uh, and I'm a big fan of his, and I have been for a few decades. And so for me, it's a true honor in, in, uh, just to get to work with the family and to do this for him. Like it's uh it's amazing. It's it's something that I'll never forget. When you do something like like that for for someone so big, what kind of pressure is that for you? But going into it, it was a it was a lot of pressure really. But getting to work with Erica real closely and and um, you know it was just I was at ease after a while and it just became you know a challenge to do something and put my best into it. And we we just what we did we we made. Uh, he's, he's tribute to represent him, you know, and and um, that you know, reading about him, listening to his music, and just over the years, understanding who he was, we were just going to highlight some of those things and, and get them there on his on his marker. Um, the design just, just took a little bit longer um, because we want to get it right, and and so um, it didn't take too long, really. And uh, you know, people. Yeah, are really going to be, you know, pumped up for this, you know. Yeah, they should be because, you know, like, he, he's, he's been gone, what, like 24 years now, and um, all this time he's, you know, people think he was born in 63, and so his marker's been wrong all this time. And uh, and so I just, I mean, for that, we want to get it right, you know. And, uh, and I, I know the fans are going to appreciate it because I've been out there, a couple of times now and people have been you know they're visiting or pulling up getting ready to get out of the car you can see people walking over and he gets fans from all over the place every single day and everybody thinks he was born in 63 and it's not right that's you know from the from day one it was wrong and so um i was just happy to you know i'm happy to, to be a part of this and to and to get him what he deserves and and uh Play a you play a small part in it, you know. I'm just happy to do that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like like you said, someone you grew up, you know, listening to, and you were a fan of yourself. You know. Um, yeah. It's only it's only right, you know. I'm saying that someone who appreciated him and his music do this. So, you know, that's that's yeah. what's up right there. 